Hey, what's going on, guys? Jace Corporation Dinette here with the first look at Chrome for Android. If you guys are familiar with Chrome, it's a web browser uh, made originally for uh, Macs and PCs. It has been ported by Google over to Android. Uh, you have to be running Android 4.0 to get it, so that eliminates most Android users. But luckily, I have my Zoom and my Samsung Galaxy Nexus on hand to give you guys a short overview of you know the difference between this and the stock browser if you guys know the stock browser on Android it's, it's been pretty good uh, it's been some hiccups here and there but it's a pretty good browser uh, the reason I really kinda like this Chrome is not more for the phone but for tablets it just feels uh, feels more like a desktop experience and has that desktop look on your tablet which really is pretty much the reason I bought my tablet is to have a mobile computer desktop experience on the go. One drawback of uh, these Chrome beta is that it does not support Flash. Uh, I had an experience trying to load a YouTube page where I had to switch to the desktop version and it uh, did not load the Flash video but it did uh, oddly enough transform the Adobe Flash video player that YouTube normally uses to their new HTML5 uh, YouTube video page or YouTube video player and it actually played fairly well and I have some HTML5 test results I'll post up in the video as screenshots and I also have screenshots of it on my Galaxy Nexus even though I didn't pull that out for this video I had uh, I'll show you a comparison of what it looks like on tablet versus a phone and as I said this is more towards tablet users because of the phone experience you really wouldn't tell the difference between using the stock and the Chrome browser whereas on the tablet you can tell the difference you can see the difference it's more of a desktop experience and speaking of desktop experience I had trouble trying to load sites that did not have the request desktop site uh, like link on their page there's no thing in the setting that I could find that allows you to load the desktop site so it does revert to mobile sites for sites such as NBA.com but if you go to a fairly recent site that knows what they're doing unlike NBA.com you should be able to get the desktop site by clicking the link at the bottom such as Amazon uh, that's pretty much it I just want you guys to show you guys a first look at Chrome it's still beta and I did have a few force closes but it's extremely fast at rendering pages even on the zoom which is I guess you can consider it an old Android tablet since it was a, really the first honeycomb tablet but it's uh, running on Android 4 4.0 and it's a uh, it's a step in the right direction for Google I did read uh, I believe on the verge talking about how this is going to be the stock Android browser of the future and it's going to be part of the Google Apps package so uh, the Android open source project it will not it will no longer include a browser in the source code which could be a positive or negative thing considering uh, uh, everybody's always talking about how Android is fragmented and blah 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 well this is a step in the right direction because only phones that have been blessed by Google <laughs> or quote unquote blessed by Google can receive the Google apps like market and Gmail and this will be part of that package so uh, that's pretty much it uh, if you have any questions or comments of course you can comment make sure you follow us on Twitter twitter.com slash Jason Corporation that's in the description like us on Facebook thanks for watching if you guys like the video make sure you thumbs it up and subscribe to our channel we're gaining new subscribers every day i appreciate all my subscribers we're gonna you know start doing a lot more with the site so jace corporation.net check us out thank you guys for watching